Hello, and welcome to another Super 3 Boy Blender tutorial. Today, we're going to go over a heavily requested feature on uh, forum.nistic.com, the official forum for these tutorials. A lot of people uh, requested that I do armatures, and so that's what I'm going to do today. Um, just to let you guys know, uh, I have a new section in the uh, Blender 3D category on forum.nistic.com user tutorials where uh, users can submit their own tutorials here and so you can just uh, get some more tutorials to help with your learning. Also, um, if you go up in the nav bar up at, top, at the top at forum.nistic.com you can view all the uh, Blender tutorials, the same ones that are on YouTube but at a higher quality um, than YouTube. Also, I might be adding some hint hint extra tutorials only in this section that will uh, actually be there a few weeks before being put on YouTube. So I suggest hint hint you check it out on forum.nistic.com. So let's go ahead and uh, have fun with some armatures. So uh, here I am in the uh, Blender 3D software and we're actually going to use our default cube today. So, what we're going to do is go view side or numpad 3, hit the S key, hit Y, and then 5. So, we're scaling this uh, 5 times its size on the Y axis. So, now we have a nice little long rectangular thing here. So, after that, we hit we go down, we just want to get in the middle um, to the left of it, click right about there, hit shift S, and you can snap a bunch of things to locations like uh, cursor to grid, which is we're gonna, what we're going to do just to make everything more exact. Hit space, add mesh, uh, excuse me, add space, add armature. And you can see a little tiny thing uh, pop up on the side here. We're going to go into wireframe mode by hitting oops, the Z key. Let's make everything a little bit easier to see. Then I'm going to hit the G key. And we're going to move this it to this blue line, which is the center. And we're going to hit the E key to extrude. And uh, just kind of get it on the edge of our rectangle here. So what I did, I added an armature uh, and I just, it's in edit mode, I just uh, grabbed it across and then extruded so we have two little little bones here. So after we do that, um, we go down here to our toolbar and we're going to select these options. We're going to select x-axis mirror, x-ray, and auto IDK. Now I Auto IDK really doesn't matter, um, but I just like it. It gives it a more like kind of arm feel. Like if we're to go down here to uh, the different modes and we're going to pose mode, um, you can see that it gives it. I'll zoom out so you can see it a bit better. It gives it um, a little kind of constraint there. Uh, it's a little sporadic now because I'm just trying to keep it in the the view here, but. You can see it moves more like an arm when I have it on that auto IDK. So you can play around with that. But if I was to, I just left clicked uh, and undo with control Z, if I was to undo auto IDK and go back into pose mode, it'd just be kind of stacked like that. And I'm just using the G key. You select these like any other objects. So, after we do that, I'm just going to select back auto IDK because I kind of like it uh, for this tutorial. And then we're going to go back into, this is edit mode, I just hit tab, go to object mode, and hit draw names too. Um, so you can kind of see the names of the things. So we're in object mode, we want to select the little rectangle, or rec the rectangle here. Uh, this is just a cube that we just made a little bit bigger as you can see as I free rotate with alt 
hit W, subdivide it three times, I guess, would be good enough. Go back to the side view, and we're going to go down here. We're going to create a vertex group, new, group, set aside. Remember, everything has to be selected. All these vertices, you can select everything with A or deselect with A, so everything's selected, assign. And then from there, we want to go just tab, get into object mode, add modifier, armature. And usually the armature is named armature, so uh, that's the object. So we just paste it in here uh, so we don't have to go and spell it out. I might spell it wrong, I'm a bad speller. And then the vertex group that we just created over here is called group. So we simply call it group and deselect envelopes. So now, the last thing we have to do is take this rectangle here and make sure that's selected with the uh, click and then shift, right mouse button again to select those two. Control P, make parent two name groups. So now if we go into pose mode here and check this out see how it deforms with the little thing here. I'll zoom out so you can actually see what I'm doing. Um, it just kind of deforms there uh, with a little armature and you can add a lot more uh, armatures than what I have here. I just have two just to make it uh, nice and simple to explain. So you can add more armature armatures with the extrude and uh, but you have to do that in the begin beginning process. I don't think you can just change it. Um, I'm gonna just left click there auto IDK and I'm just in the G key um, and that's without the auto IDK. So you can kinda see the difference there. So. Um, I kind of went a little fast on this tutorial because I only have 10 minutes and there was a lot to cover. But those are just the uh, basics of armatures. Um, they're used to basically uh, provide a skeletal structure for characters or objects. So um, if you were making a character, you would want to rig them or something like that so you could pose them different ways. and. Um, if you want to get more into this, I would suggest uh, my Super 3 Boy uh, making a character in Blender DVD, which is coming out uh, in about a month or so. So if you're interested in that, just send me a message. And in that DVD, we have a lot more time, so we're going to go a little bit more in depth with uh, armatures towards the end of the DVD. So I hope you uh, learned how to do armatures in this tutorial. And so just play around with it, get used to it. It's a, you might have to replay this tutorial a couple times. It's, it's a pretty uh, hard concept. So just have fun with it, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.